shop tour. I know that there are a lot of shop tours here on YouTube, however, everyone's shop is different in some way. So I know that I put out a decent amount of videos now, and some people that come and see my channel probably don't know all of the tools that I have, so I think this video will kind of help with that and show you the layout, I guess, of my shop. So here at my house, I have a three car garage, and two of those slots are occupied by cars. With the third car garage door is where I have my tools. So I like to rearrange my shop probably every couple months and the reason for that is because you're always trying to maximize the efficiency and there's always something better that you can do to maximize the workflow when you're working on something. And I myself have gone through countless versions with the same amount of tools in this space but it wasn't always like this when i first started getting into woodworking i was out in the backyard underneath a shade structure with all of my tools in one bin and that is how i got some of my projects done in the beginning but then when i ventured on into the garage this space was full of all sorts of stuff and it wasn't until the last couple months that I was able to actually open the garage door. When I started, I only had this section here where I stored all of my tools and then I rolled them out into where the cars get parked. And then from there, I then moved forward, getting more and more space after clearing some stuff out and reorganizing things until finally I had the whole length and then I could keep my tools permanently on this side of the garage. So what I'll try to do with each major tool is, for one, explain why it is in the position that it is, and number two, explain how you can get the maximum efficiency out of that tool without compromising too much space. So when you first walk in, the first major tool that you come across is the table saw. And the reason that I have this here, because it is in the center of the shop, and that way, if you wanted to cut really wide stuff or really long stuff, you have the capacity to do that. And for those of you wondering, this spot underneath the table saw is actually where I like to recycle bottles. And I trade those in for money every couple months. And then off to the right, this is where I have a little nook. And that little nook is then a part of the larger garage and here I tried to maximize the space by having the disc sander and this was not that wide however it was very tall and I saw that as the perfect spot to put that in and then above that this is where I keep some of my larger pipe clamps and I don't use those very often however when I do they're quick to access and all I have to do is take them off of the rack also when I'm done for the day this is where I like to store my apron over on the left, this is where I like to keep my shop vac along with a broom and a couple of other miscellaneous things. Moving on to the first workbench, I know I've gone through in a previous video all of the scrap wood, so if you'd like to know what's in here you can go back to one of the previous videos where I talk more in depth about that. But on top, this is where I keep my small Craftsman 10 inch bandsaw. Also on this workbench I have my small drill press which I use very frequently and in between the bandsaw and the drill press this is where I keep a lot of my finishing supplies and some of my glue, Windex is back there, WD-40, a lot of the common things that I use during a project or just around the shop. And above those recently I put in a large lumber rack where I could store a really 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 large amount of wood of different sizes, widths, shapes, and I've been really happy with this. Also if you want to see this, I've done a previous video on this also, in the same video that I did all of the scrap wood, so you can go check that out if you'd like to see that more in depth. And in the space that I'm standing in right now, I don't have a tool here yet, however eventually I will be building an outfeed table for my table saw. And that will be a pretty fun project that will most likely bring you guys along with that. And then over to the left, this is where I have my large grizzly 8 inch jointer. And this is one of the latest tools that I've gotten. And this thing is a beast, it runs on 220, it takes up a very long length. However, it's pretty skinny, so I almost think of this spot right here as an aisleway. 
and there's still enough space to open a door from the car and not hit the jointer or the edge of the table saw. And moving on, over on the other side, up against the wall, this is where I keep my miter saw and I really love the position that I put this in. This cart that it is on is originally what I kept my drill press on, but that has since changed. But this cart, along with the height of the miter saw, is almost the width of my main workbench. I just had to put a couple pieces of scrap wood underneath, and it was the perfect level for this workbench. Coincidentally, this other workbench that I got from a other woodworker is at the same exact height as my main workbench, so those two act as really, really nice support parts for really long pieces of wood. And that maximizes the space of that little nook right there, and I'm just really happy with that. And then above the miter saw, I have a small clamp rack that I just store smaller clamps that I use more frequently than the pipe clamps. And that brings us then to my main workbench. And this is something that took me a very long time to do. I'm very proud of it. And this is one of the most awesome projects that I've done. So when I first started filming YouTube videos, this bench was actually up against the wall. And that way there was more space over here. But since then, I've pushed this out about two feet and that allows me to stand back there when I'm talking to you guys. And underneath that, this is where I keep a lot of my other tools that are not necessarily used as much, such as pliers, plumbing tools, mechanic tools, a lot of the tools that I don't access as often. And this last drawer is my junk drawer. Every shop or kitchen or bedroom has some sort of place where junk just gets thrown and this drawer is where that is. And then some of the tools that I do access are in the tool well as well as on the tool wall. And this wall is pretty shabby. I threw it together in about a day. I just threw a couple nails on the wall. I'm not very proud of it, but it was getting to the point where a lot of the tools were being left around in various places and I needed somewhere to store them. And I think it actually looks kind of cool. I will be doing a much better version of this in the future, which I will bring you guys along for. And then also on top of the workbench, this is where I have my drill, impact driver, and my hand plane and those I use almost every project and that is why they are on top of the workbench. To some more boring things I have a hot water heater, a fridge where there is soda, water, all sorts of stuff and a trash can. And then other than that there are just two cars that are parked in the larger garage and that is pretty much it. So believe it or not that is pretty much my whole shop. I know that there are some people that have a whole warehouse full of tools, but for me that is simply not the case. Being in just a one car garage shop, I have to maximize the space as well as the efficiency as the best I can. So this is the layout that is currently here and it will probably change in the near future when I acquire more tools or I just get tired of something the way it is. So I hope this could give you maybe a little bit more insight on what my shop looks like. I know a couple people are wondering and I hope that this could clear some of that up. So if this is your first time here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I try to upload new videos almost every day. So speaking of videos, I will actually not be able to upload videos for the next two days and what that means is that I will continue on Friday because the next two days I will be studying for tests because yes, I am a student, I go to school, so that is what I will be doing. But don't be worried, I'll be back and we'll start working on the main project. Also put a comment down in the comment section if you have something to say and hit that like button too. I really do appreciate that also. And I'll see you in the next video.